If you love theme parks, attractions, events, anything fun, you've landed on the right channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and join me now for my next journey. Shane from Jags Journeys. I'm here today at SeaWorld Theme Park in the Gold Coast. Now the day has finally arrived where the Leviathan Coaster and the Trident are going to be officially open from today. Uh, so the whole Atlantis area finally will be complete. Uh, so we're looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Uh, we've been following the progress of the construction of this area for the last, well, few years now. And uh, it's great that the day has finally arrived. Uh, SeaWorld have been kind enough to invite us in early this morning for the media launch. Uh, so we're going to check out the precinct and we're going to ride the ride and we're going to bring you along as well. So let's go now and check it out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. Alright, so we just arrived into the precinct. Bakash Rindawa, the COO, is giving an interview with the media and then we're going to head up to the loading bay of the Leviathan. So in the uh, queuing area there is actually a test seat you can uh, check out to make sure you fit comfortably on the ride before you head to the front of the queue. Hey guys, so these guys are actually the first people public to ride the Leviathan today here at SeaWorld. We're going to go and watch the ride launch now from the top. So once you've gone through the queue line, you enter into the Leviathan Tunnel and look at the theming in here. This is absolutely world-class theming. Uh, the detail in here is absolutely amazing and this is where your journey really starts. You head up the stairs to the load station and there's so much theming going on there, just blows your mind. Check out the Leviathan now. Here in the load station, and the first guests are about to come up now and 
Rod the Leviathan. <laughs> So that was actually the first ride of the day, but it was also the very first ride for the public. And right at the front there, you've got the morning crew from the 1029 Hot Tomato radio station. Looks like they had an awesome time as well, and looks like everyone enjoyed their ride on the Leviathan. Hey guys, so the theming up here in the actual load unload bay is next level it's world class theming it just blows your mind so uh, that's an experience on its own it's just actually coming up before you even get onto the leviathan coaster uh, with all these screens behind us uh, it is unreal the Leviathan now. This is our carriage. We've just got to put our stuff in the box and then we'll be ready to ride.
just walked off the Leviathan coaster, and let me tell you, it was absolutely one of the best coasters I've ever ridden, uh, ever. What do you think, Adrian? It was, that was fantastic. You know, it feels like a typical wooden, wooden roller coaster. Yeah, faster than what I was expecting. It's awesome. It was really fast. We're just going to get down some steps and we'll tell you more about it. There's a bit of theming going on through here as well, which is really cool. Hey guys, we're in the actual queuing area. The roller coaster actually wraps around the uh, queuing area, which is awesome. So we uh, just came off the Leviathan coaster and uh, I give it a 10 out of 10. What do you give it, Adrian? Oh, yeah, 10 for sure. It was awesome. Man, it was probably probably the best. I mean, you can't compare it to Taipan or Rivals, really. Different, entirely different coaster. Being wooden, different ride experience, different feeling. Um, it's, yeah. It's compact. It is. And the twists and turns are just fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Absolutely. Everything about this ride is awesome. but. Even though you got the ride, the theming up there blows your mind. Um, you're actually immersed in this um, in this Leviathan underwater area. Like it is crazy. Um, next level. It is next level. Yeah. Look here. So definitely um, that alone is just unreal. But the ride is just awesome. Um, you can hear it going around now. Um, it's quite a long ride, and like Adrian was saying before, it's it's um, sort of it's like compact. Like it's a small kind of area, but it's a long ride, and it's it sort of goes around on itself, yeah? yeah. And it even goes around the queuing area, so I'll, I'll obviously put some footage in of that as well. When you queue, when you're standing in the queuing area, it comes right around you. Um, there's also an observation point further down as well that um, you can check out, which we'll show you as well. Uh, so yeah, all in all, yeah. man, great, just the best. And it was it was really worth the wait. We've obviously watched this get built for the last three, four years, yeah. and worth the wait 100% worth the wait it's a shame the Trident can't operate today because it's quite gusty winds here today in the Gold Coast um, it may open later today or in the next day or two it's supposed to be bad weather for the next few days but uh, as soon as that weather drops away it'll um, it'll be open as well you won't probably get me on that 42 meters tall chair swing 42 meters I'm probably not uh, yeah no probably not for me um, but we'll, we'll pop back at some point and, and film it anyway but um, all in all, I think we give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, loved it. you got to come down, definitely, and uh, ride the Leviathan. Do it now. Hey guys, I'm just here with William. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel. What was your channel, mate? Uh, it's called Fletch 40. Fletch 40, awesome. And he just finished riding the Leviathan coaster. What was your thoughts? I am, I'm absolutely blown away. I mean, it took them long enough to open it. Absolutely. But like, um, I feel like maybe the two years was worth it because it gave them the extra time just to, you know, really like perfect the theming. Definitely. Like the rock work. I was really impressed by the. Um, once you get past the queue, you go into like this tunnel that goes up to the station. Yeah. The station's great, there's screens, the, the uh, Leviathan is floating around, he's taunting you. 
and the uh, the ride is unreal. Um, has some great airtime moments. Yeah. Very jerky. Um, it's funny they call this a family coaster. They it's do. One of the most intense rides I've <laughs> yeah. ever been on. It is intense, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably. I mean, it's not as high as DC Rivals, but it really does pack a punch. It does. And I think it's 32 meters high this yeah, one. And like, yeah. It's compact, but they they really pack as much as they could into the space that they were given. So. I they sure did. It's definitely the best Australian roller coaster I've been on, and I recommend that you definitely ride it. Absolutely. I'm with you 100%. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I've done an awesome job, and we'll be riding it heaps and heaps more for sure. All right, thanks, mate. Awesome. Thanks Bye. for your time, mate. So it's pretty windy today here in the Gold Coast, pretty cold too. So it doesn't look like the Trident will be operational uh, currently due to the strong winds, but it might be operational later in the day. Now apparently there is actually a viewing area for the coast of the Viking, so we're gonna go and check that out now and see what we can see. So check out this uh, viewing area they've got in here, right in the middle of the coaster. So you can get an awesome view of the Leviathan going around. So if you're not going to be riding it, which I don't know why you wouldn't because it's awesome, uh, you can see everyone riding the coaster real close up. So as I said before, this area, uh, you can actually have a really good viewing area of the coaster and then you can actually keep walking uh, out this area and it actually takes you back through to the vortex and we've been watching them obviously build this over the last few years and uh, we sort of assumed this might be the exit but it's actually not the exit the exit's pretty much where you enter on the other side of where you enter the attraction so there you go and again the theming of the trident is also real awesome they've done such a great job Unfortunately, it's just so windy today here in the Gold Coast. Uh, this isn't actually um, operational today. You wouldn't get me on this anyway. It's 42 meters high. I'm not a massive fan of heights or chair swing rides either. So, um, but anyway, I'm sure it'll be operational in the next day or so. And there's also a new photo opportunity sitting right next to the Trident. That's pretty cool. So as I said before, the Trident is actually uh, not operational today due to the high winds here today. It can operate in fairly high winds, I think up to around 70 kilometers an hour, but the gusts here have been quite strong. So um, anyway, maybe later in the day or in the next day or two, you're about to come and ride the Trident. I'll tell you what guys, it is so good to actually see this whole precinct finally open. So the Atlantis precinct, now we've got three attractions in here. We've got the Vortex there, uh, the Trident, which, which should be open shortly and the Leviathan coaster, which is an amazing coaster. You've got to ride it. Theming is amazing, and it really does pack a punch. It's awesome. So it's good to see the theming they've done um, now that it's finished. So there's little waterfalls. We thought there might be fountains involved or water from the construction area. So um, yeah, these statues are sitting in that sort of fountain area there. And so the uh, queue line, apparently from around the entrance point here is around about an hour. Um, so they've, uh, they've actually snaked the queue down here uh, on the other side of the um, uh, Patrick's Jellyfish Frenzy, which looks like it's now also back open at SeaWorld. And if you're hungry, you can also visit the new Atlantean Snack Stop stand right here in the precinct. So they've got a Leviathan Coaster combo on offer, American style hot dog and soft drink with Leviathan 
souvenir cup for $15. You can get repeat cup refills, soft drink or popcorn for $3 each. Uh, the drinks on their own, $8 uh, with the souvenir cup there and the American style hot dog on its own is uh, $10. And the Leviathan souvenir cup's actually pretty cool. I love the design on the side, looks awesome. And it looks like they've finished the uh, area down at the Dockside Tavern, so there's more tables and chairs. Um, there is a, um, a photo lab down there, we'll have a look at that, but also there's a, a coffee area here and cocktail bar. So guys, this is part of the Dockside Tavern, so uh, you can use upstairs and downstairs. I think they're still doing some better renovation upstairs, but um, yeah, essentially you can come down here and order off the menu from the Dockside as well. And I believe they also have some ice creams at the end as well. We might just check that out. So you can get coffee and ice cream and uh, items off the Dockside menu, cocktails as well, all here in the new venue under the Dockside Tavern. And they've actually relocated the photo lab, uh, so it's no longer at the top terrace, it's now here also under the Dockside Tavern and it's definitely the most perfect location for this if you think about it, because it's right down in the middle of the park, right where all of the uh, character photos and rides are. Makes sense. Hey guys, I just want to give a really big shout out to the Chandler family, Anna and Adrian, Michael and Maya Lee, Connor, Eden, and also to Mrs. Mum. Uh, thank you all for buying me a coffee this week. In fact, some of you have bought me multiple coffees yet again, and I really appreciate that. It really does help support my channel. And if anyone else would also like to support my channel just like they did, the link is in the description below. Uh, it's also on the screen now by buying me coffees. It definitely helps me bring more videos just like this straight to you. Hey guys, so also over here at SeaWorld, they've actually revamped the entire Midway Games area here in the plaza, just like they have in Movie World. So same external company has come through, revamped all the games. Some of them are called different things, um, but they look really awesome. We'll go check them out now. So they've also got a hook a duck um, attraction in here, lobster pot, uh, pyramid smash as well. So it's really good to see they've actually also put new games at the back end of the Midway uh, facing Nickelodeon stage. So um, you've got a blockbuster here. So obviously you're knocking down all the blocks and there's a, a rebound game as well down there. I think most of the games are like $6, two for 10 type scenario. Um, check them out. It's awesome to see all new games down here at Midway. Hey guys, so you can actually ride the Leviathan backwards as well. There's a couple of backwards seats, and if you want to do that, it's $30 each person, and you have to buy that from the photo center down underneath the Dockside Tavern. Hey guys, so with the Leviathan coaster, um, if the wind is over 50 k's an hour, they actually have to stop the ride until the wind gusts come down a bit more. So unfortunately, we have had a little bit of um, delays on the Leviathan coast of this afternoon due to the very high wind gusts they've heard here on the Gold Coast. However, as you can see, it's going back around now, so the wind gusts have come down a little bit more and everyone can get back on the Leviathan. Um, I'm just here with uh, one of my biggest fans on YouTube. I'll let him say a quick hello. Hi, I'm Eli and I love Shag's journey. Well, thanks for saying hi, Eli, and I really appreciate you checking out all my videos on YouTube. Hey, guys, I just want to say a really big thanks to Maura and Trevor and the 1029 Hot Tomato team uh, for giving me the opportunity to have a chat on here today. Um, I really appreciate that and appreciate you guys' support uh, for Jake's Journeys as well. It's always greatly appreciated. Guys, 
and they've also got a new basketball game located up here at the front of the park so make sure you check out that one one in to win check it out hey guys so they've done the renovations up here at the uh, lakeside eatery so this is looking really really nice a little bit of a freshen up looks really cool all right let's check out the leviathan merch here at the seaboard shop Hey guys, so they have these Leviathan uh, surprise eggs and uh, they're $24.99 each, but um, you can collect all five and they have the five different uh, plush toys in them there. So you got Scud, Flicker, Scrounge, Molten, and Fathom to collect. So there's a whole lot of other merch you can get. Um, this one here is like a wooden model of the actual coaster carriage there, that's $49.99. Um, that looks pretty cool and they've got the uh, Leviathan tails that you can get for the kids it's pretty cool $24.99 you got $29.99 you got it on the actual Leviathan plush there it's pretty cool and these ones here like $6.99 so you can get a can cooler there for $6.99. Let's check out the design on that one. That's pretty cool. Atlantis. And I've got the Leviathan mug up there for $19.99. So the merch is awesome, eh? It's been really well designed. That's a pretty cool mug actually, for $19.99. And you got the Sippers, that's cool. They are $12.99 each as well. And for $19.99, you can get yourself a new Leviathan hat or the Atlantis, or $24.99, you can get a Vortex cat. These kids' Leviathan shirts, $27.99 or what? Two for $45. And there's another range of shirts through here as well. Again, $27.99 or two for $45 on these ones. Long live the king. Pretty cool. And uh, nice lady shirts here. So that one's that's an adult one, so $32.99 or two for $55. That's a pretty cool design as well. Same price, $32.99 or two for $55. And same with the singlet there. And then this one here as well. So that's going to do it from my look today here at SeaWorld on the Gold Coast for the opening day of the Leviathan roller coaster. Uh, Trident was supposed to open today, but because of the gusty winds here in the Gold Coast today, uh, wasn't able to be opened. Uh, that will be opening shortly, though. Uh, once again, we love the Leviathan. Yeah, it was awesome. It was such a cool ride. You've got to come down here and ride it. Yeah. The queues might be big, but I tell you now, it's worth standing in the queue. You won't regret it. As soon as you go through, there's a whole lot of theming uh, in their queue area, which is awesome. You'll love it. So anyway, make sure you get down here to SeaWorld uh, to ride the Leviathan as soon as possible. Cool. We rate it 10 out of 10, by the way. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you liked the video today. Uh, if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you check out Adrian's channel, AU underscore theme park fan as well. He'll also have videos and photos and everything from today as well so make sure you check that out uh, don't forget to subscribe to Jake's journeys as well guys that's always greatly appreciated anyway guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next journey